with the second draft happening tonight since the new brand split. There's a lot of names getting thrown out there that could be switching brands, but here are five most likely superstars to actually make the switch. Number five is Seth Rollins. Now Seth Rollins hold the Intercontinental Championship belt, and during the first switch, they did switch over the US and Intercontinental Championship belt. I believe it will happen again. Also, this is a perfect way to break up the shield before Dean returns from injury. Since Dean had injured, they kind of continued the shield thing for a little bit, and then they went on from WrestleMania, and they didn't really have a they didn't really have a good ending to the shield. So I feel like just throwing Seth on the SmackDown is honestly the best way to put the shield in the past and also give him a new light with a lot of superstars to defend that title against. Number four is Rusev. Rusev needs a switch because on SmackDown he's getting over like crazy. He barely got himself into WrestleMania. He's getting pinned. He lost to Randy Orton in 10 seconds. He's not really doing anything other than getting over and having everyone love Rusev Day. So I think it's time for him to go over to Raw, fight some new people, and hopefully Rusev Day will get him a belt on that brand. Number three is a tag team. This is going to be the Usos. Now either the Usos or New Day could be in this spot. I put the Usos because I think SmackDown needs a big, big player in the New Day. But I'm going to switch over the Usos because the Usos have challenged everyone in the year that they have been on SmackDown. They've had rivalry with the New Day, Brazango, The Ascension, The Brudgeon Brothers, uh... American Alpha 2.0, they wrestled every single tag team that SmackDown has to offer. And of them being at the peak of the game, they need a brand split so they can continue at the high level that they're at. And they're probably going to take out whoever wins the tag team titles at the um, Greatest Royal Rumble of all time. And that will be where I see them going into. Number two is The Miz. The reason I throw the Miz into this, I think that SmackDown will need another A-list player. A little hint there on his name. And Daniel Bryan is back in action. This is the main reason I want the Miz to switch. As you know, Miz and Daniel Bryan had a heated rivalry when Daniel Bryan was just the GM and they could not do anything against each other. Miz felt that Daniel Bryan attacked him constantly for not being a professional. And that Miz just wanted to get his hands on Daniel, but Daniel couldn't do it because of WWE's restrictions. Now that those are lifted off of Daniel Bryan, there's no reason for The Miz to not make that switch and not have an amazing rivalry with The Miz, how he started off his career. It would be a great way to come full circle. And my last pick goes with my first one. Number one's going to be Jinder Mahal. I hate this guy. And I honestly want him off SmackDown because... Smackdown I like better than Ron. I just want the guy off there. Honestly, Vince loves him. I don't know why. I mean, he's a steroid junkie that can't wrestle. If you notice, during his first reign, they only gave him two matches on Smackdown throughout his entire run. They only had him cut promos because they don't believe of him as a wrestler. They just wanted him to get over because they wanted to draw bigger in the Indian crowd. Especially since they're going to the greatest Royal Rumble. It would be smart to throw Ginger on Raw, give him more of a push a little bit, I guess. I don't. He doesn't really need a push at all. But honestly, just throw him in there, put him on the greatest Royal Rumble of all time, let him get the pop that they need, and then just put him back to the low card or 205 Live, wherever you want to put that guy. They don't have to see him anymore. But that is my top five superstars that are most likely to get draft tonight. Let me know what you think about my list and your list down in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe because there's always more to come.